What's up guys, Matt here, and today we're back in Car Mechanic Simulator 2021. And I've got an idea of something I want to go find. Something that you guys have been asking for. And, uh, yeah, I want to go to the car auctions, maybe, uh, see if we can find it in the, uh, junky car auctions. Uh, to be able to build it up exactly the way we want to. And here we have it, Dom Toretto's GTX from Fast 8. This has been one people have asked me to do for a while. I know other people have asked me to also do Dom Toretto's uh, car from the Charger from the first movie. But uh, for this time, we happened upon the GTX. I figured I was just going to go with whichever one I found first. I found this one first. So this is Dom Toretto's GTX. It was actually a Roadrunner, but uh, badged as a GTX for the movie. We're going to try to make a play on this thing. I think we could pick it up. Let's see what we got under the hood. Oh, yeah, we got supercharged, everything like that. So... This'll, this'll be a uh, fun build. This thing's ready to go for sure. Let's see if we can uh, make a play. Up to almost 20,000, 20,700. Jumping into 22 now. Man, this thing is going. Let's see how long this goes. Up to almost 30,000 now. Over, oh, it just hit 30,000. And we got it for 35,000, I believe it was. Yeah, 35,148. It's ours. Let's get to building it. We are back at the shop and let's go see. There it is, our GTX. Okay, so I might say Roadrunner here and there because uh, the car was actually a Roadrunner. But uh, in the movie, you know, it's marked as, uh, it's badged as a GTX, but it is originally a Roadrunner. So if I say Roadrunner, please forgive me for that. But here it is, Dom Toretto's Roadrunner. We need to go give this thing a wash. I already said Roadrunner. GTX. The thing is pretty filthy. So let's see how it looks underneath all of that crusty sand and whatnot. And yeah, it's starting to look like it. Just very, very rusty. A lot of surface rust, lots of dense dings, lots of stuff that we're here to fix. And it's like a bluish hood, but the stripes still match. We'll fix all that. And what's funny, I'm just now realizing my Richard Petty Roadrunner is right next to Dom Toretto's Roadrunner. How about that? And if any of you new viewers that are not subscribers are fans of the Fast and the Furious franchise, I recently did uh, Brian O'Connor's um, Eclipse in a recent video. And I haven't got rid of it yet because I just like, I, I love having that sitting out there. And if you're interested, I'll throw this video link in the description or at the end or in a card or something. I'll figure out a way. First things first, let's uh, Take a look at this engine. Any diagnostics we could possibly do? It does have an oil pan on it, which is nice. Uh, sometimes it's hit and miss on that, but let's do some diagnostics. See if we can even do, does it have an OBD? It does have an OBD port. Find out and we'll do a little scan here. We've got things like ignition coil. It's actually not as bad as I thought it would be. Yeah, it's mid tier. Definitely gonna need some freshening up and possibly, yeah, I think Obviously, we're going to go full rebuild and look at these results. Let's do a compression check. Yeah, not too great. Thing is tired. Needs, needs some TLC. So at this point, I'm not surprised. We're going to have to pull that engine out, do a rebuild. That being said, let's go ahead and get the welder to this thing and try to get as much of this body straightened out as we can. Yes, let's accept that and watch the magic happen here. Things are already starting to look up. Let's start by pulling this engine, get this thing up on the lift, drain the oil, get this thing yanked out. And that is some dark, that's not horrible. It's not the worst I've seen. And there wasn't a whole lot of it in there. Being that I know we're gonna have to get rid of it, let's just start pulling off the exhaust. Get all this stuff out of the way to be able to get better access, easier access to the drive line. Be able to pull this engine out. We got our rear mufflers there. And that's pretty much it. Now we can move on to the drive shaft. Stuck bolt taken care of there. There it goes. Four bolts out, flip around. Four more there. Now we can jump over to the starter. Out she comes. Transmission. Luckily no stuck bolts here, surprisingly. And we can go ahead and pull our release bearing pressure plate. Got one little stuck bolt there. Clutch plate and flywheel can come right off. I think we're ready to yank this thing. Drain our coolant. Actually kind of looks cool like that. I kind of dig it, the patina on it. Uh, let's pull this engine, pull out, and it's out. It's quite empty in there. It's a cavernous, cavernous engine bay. Let's go mount it over on our engine stand. 
continue work. There it is. It's a behemoth. Let's start pulling the car apart, get it down to the bare bones. So we can go in and just bring this thing back to life the way it should be. Back to 100%. This front clamshell out of here. Get the door and the windows out. This rear little quarter window here. Rear window. The trunk. What do we got down here? Rear clamshell there. This is a mod done by my buddy Payne, DeadBob777. He is uh, a fantastic, fantastic mod builder. And I'll put his uh, link to his Patreon down in the description if you want like exclusive stuff for mods for your version of Car Mechanic Simulator. He's got it in his Patreon. You also get updates on stuff that he's working on, which is really cool. So you stay in the know. Jump in the engine bay here. Let's go ahead and take this brake servo out. Oh, I didn't drain the fluid. I missed one. Oh, caught me there. Go ahead and get our radiator out. We know that one's empty. Get our battery out so we can put that on the charger. Coolant reservoir. Grab that guy out of there in the engine bay and all of that is good to go. We can start pulling apart suspension. Now I know the movie didn't have these knockoffs, which are the, uh, the like the little three the tri-star little pattern thing on the wheels in the movie car but that's as close as this game is going to let us get it's the uh it's just the wheels that are in the game nothing to do with the uh the actual mod there's only so many parameters we can work with here and get this bearing out front wheel hub as well as our front knuckle cover there upper suspension arm this is actually pretty complete. I'm kind of surprised. A few stuck bolts, not a big deal. But it's nice that it's pretty complete, which is, means we can probably save a little money by repairing a lot of these parts. But I might end up keeping this car instead of trying to go for a quick flip because I'd like to like start collecting some more fast and furious vehicles. Starting with that uh, Eclipse outside. There's been more and more mods of Fast and Furious cars that I think they'd be kind of cool to have around. Okay, so that's that side all torn out. On to the other side. Now we can pull our front sway bar out, as well as our steering rack, and our fun little rubber bushings. Now the whole cross member can come right out onto the rear end. Look at these big old wide tires. That's one thing I remember from the movie. It was like, man, those those are some wide, wide meats back there. Which is pretty awesome. Looks really good on the car, especially with the body. Uh, the bit, you know, you look at that. You look at that car from the rear, the GTX, and the movie. Uh, just looks so beefy. And I think that that was definitely a help. Was with those big old wide meats back there. We'll get this rear wheel hub. Here off, knuckle housing. Got an old school setup back here. Leaf spring U-bolt there. There's one. Let's get to the other. There it is. Now we can get the leaf spring plate right out of right off there, and we can get our small rubber bushings. One there and one up there. And our leaf spring can come out. That's that side done. On to the other been having a lot of fun doing these car mechanic simulator videos obviously because i've been doing them so long because i just love i just love this game um but i've had a lot of new subscribers i want to welcome you guys thank you so much i really appreciate it it's totally appreciated i see the subscri subscriber count go up and i'm just blown away by the whole thing i'm not like you know full-time you know release a video constantly type to be able to, to see you guys coming in and like subscribing and wanting to watch more of these it really does humble me quite a bit it's it's amazing to me and i i really want to take this opportunity thank you so much welcome to the channel and uh hope you have fun here this is more of a laid back kind of setting we can get this rear shock absorber be here and then the axle is out that's pretty much everything with the body onto the engine hey look there's proof the Roadrunner horn. Meep, meep. Actually, I want to pull this interior out. Just a couple of seats and a steering wheel. Even though it's stripped down to the bones, it looks a lot better than it did. So this is going to be a pretty big teardown. This is a modular V8. I haven't done one of these in quite a while. So yeah, it's uh, a lot to them. A lot more than the uh, old carbureted overhead valve type engines. So I'll just go one at a time here. We can go ahead and grab these fuel rails. One there and one there. 
But all the pulleys and everything on the front, start with the tensioner if I can get to it. Where are you at? There you are. That's usually the first step. Indeed it is. And then we move on what? Idler roller A, there it is. Now we grab the belt, there it goes. Then we can grab that belt, and then you can watch me pull off a bunch of pulleys and sped up time. Harmonic balancer can come out, well, once I use some penetrating oil on it, as well as the water pump pulley, all four bolts. We can go ahead and grab this alternator while we're over here. Out it comes. Power steering pump, there you are. Come on now, there it goes. From here, we can pull out our water pump. There we go. All three out, and we can move to the supercharger. Hope we can rebuild this, because these things are expensive. But also, it might be nice to get a performance one. And then let's go over to the head here, pull off our coil cover, and pull out each and every one of our ignition coils here. There they go. We can pull the head cover off. Lots of bolts, one stuck. There she goes, out. And then the other four. It's interesting how the light shines so brightly on this one. And I always forget that little guy on these. I'm remembering it now. So I think from here, yeah, we can do the exhaust manifold. We'll definitely be putting headers on this, no doubt. And it'll be exciting to see how this thing will do after we get it all built out, get our spark plugs out of here. And from there, I think we can't do much until we pull the front timing cover off. Yeah, that's correct. Oh, we can pull the intake manifold out. So to pull that front timing cover off, let's go ahead and start pulling apart this, this head. An interesting fact about the movie as we pull this timing cover off, the movie car in the Fast 8 just had a little 383 V8 carbureted V8 in it. Did all the stunts with a 383 in it, which is impressive. But, you know, to make big horsepower and everything like that for for what the movie, what it ended up looking like, you know, with all the CGI and whatnot, we're going to have to use this engine for sure, supercharge and everything like that. But it's interesting that in the movie they used uh, just a 383 carbureted, mild-built V8. And we're able to shoot all those scenes with that. The head is off and we can see we definitely have a lot of carbon buildup. Yeah, it's a good thing we're rebuilding this thing. All right, pulled that off onto the other side. All right, both heads off. We can flip this thing over. Start getting into the internals here. Oil pan. A lot of stuck bolts on this engine. I think it would have been better maintained, right? Let's go ahead and grab that oil filter while we're here. Then we can start pulling apart our rod caps, get our pistons out of here. There they all go. Now we can pull our crankshaft bearing caps out. There's one, two, and three. There we go. And of course, we're going to have to, they're always going to be a little tough on the last one. All right, pistons can come on out. One, two, Three, four, yep, it's got all eight. Then from there, we'll be able to pull out our crankshaft. That should, what do we got here? We got, yep, engine block come right off of there. And we are done with teardown except for our fuel filter there, which was just suspended in air. Gonna go ahead and pull apart our shock assembly here. Take that, pull apart the other one. There we go. Then from there, we'll run over here start running our brake rotors. Although I don't think we're going to use these rotors. We're going to use performance rotors because we're going to make a lot of horsepower out of this thing. Uh, but it's nice to restore them to be able to sell them for a higher profit. I mean, it doesn't cost me anything to use this lathe. It just takes a little bit of time and uh, it'll bank us a little bit of coin. Now we take our broken parts over here and start repairing. Get that. And again, like I mentioned before, I'm not so good at talking while I'm trying to <laughs> hit these green marks. So I'm going to go ahead and get as much repaired as I can and then come back to you guys afterwards. Got all my parts repaired and ordered quite a few performance parts. We're going to throw a lot at this engine, that's for sure. So let's start with the crankshaft. Go ahead and throw on our oil filter while it's right there. And then we'll install 
our performance pistons and rings, as well as our rod caps. and our crankshaft bearing caps. One, let's get the second one here, there, and then our final one, on it goes. Now we're ready for the oil pan, there it is. Get these on here, and like I was saying, I know some of you wanted to see Dom's charger, again, if you're not subscribed, subscribe, because that's coming soon actually, be doing that one before too long. It'd be fun to build out uh, all the Fast and Furious cars that we can and get that performance alternator on there. From here, we can flip the engine over and start building out the top end. Engine head. And I'm not gonna really have to point out performance because pretty much if they make a performance part for it, uh, I bought it. So this is all performance stuff, performance head, performance cams, uh, performance everything. So we're gonna try to go for some pretty crazy horsepower with this thing, because uh, I think it deserves it for sure. Get our cam gear there. Exhaust manifold, get these nice headers, a lot better than the uh, regular manifolds that were on there earlier, before. And there, we can go with our spark plugs. Timing belt, on it goes. Might as well throw our fuel filter on here while we're at it, and then jump over to the other side and install this head. And we can put that timing belt on and we're ready for the supercharger intake manifold. Might as well do our timing cover. And we're gonna get to do all those little pulleys all over again. Now we can install our water pump. Three little bolts there, our harmonic balancer. On it goes, and now we're ready for our water pump pulley. Getting excited to put that supercharger on here. <laughs> I just love supercharged engines. They look so good. Okay, and we're ready for our engine head cover over here. Put in our performance ignition coils. Three and four. Then we'll be ready for our cover for that. Yeah, coils cover. Now we can build out the other side. Now we get to put on this beautiful, even upgraded, I even upgraded this performance part. A few of the uh, performance parts I could. Look at that thing. It looks beautiful. Supercharger belt. Let's go ahead and put on this serpentine belt here. On it goes. We can do our fuel rails. There's one and there's the other. Ready for our throttle body. I was able to upgrade that one as well. Oh, man. This thing is looking good. I believe that does it. We'll worry about the uh, flywheel and all that when we go to put it in. Let's do that right now. Let's take it off the stand and go put it in the car where it belongs. This thing's gonna look good in here. Engine crane, install, that's the one. And look at that, <laughs> that is so massive. I love it, perfect. Okay, this can go back to where it came from. Man, that looks good. And while I'm thinking about it, let's go ahead and put together our shock assemblies. Get that out of the way. And I'll probably mount and balance the wheels and tires. I want to spray these wheels a little darker color. They're a little bright for what it was in the movie. So I'm going to go with a little darker, kind of a matte uh, gray. I'm thinking that looks more correct to the movie. So I'm going to go ahead and paint it that color. Oh yeah, I think that'll look really good. I think that'll match up well with what we're working with here. And I got slicks for the back because I figure, you know, we're going to need them. And see what I did here? Dom. Uh, yeah, pretty lame, but I had to. All right, let's balance this thing. Play our little mini game here. And that's one done, three more to go. Put our seats and interior in. There's just two seats and a steering wheel, and that takes care of that. Start taking care of engine bay stuff. Let's get our radiator in, as well as our reservoirs, all that stuff that we need for that. Got our battery over here. Another coolant reservoir over here. Oh, we might as well. Probably want brakes. Brake servo in. And our inner cooler. And I think that pretty much does it for that. Let's go ahead and throw our cross member in. And I think we can start building out the uh, suspension here. Let's get our steering rack on. Our front sway bar. We can do our inner tie rod. 
Might as well throw our steering knuckle on. That way we can tie in our tie rod, our outer tie rod, that is. Get that cinched down, upper control, upper control arm with all our rubber bushings. Then we can do our lower control arm. That'll allow us to install our shock assembly. Once we get all these fasteners connected, there we go. Shock assembly right there. On it goes. What else we got? We got our front sway bar end link. Now we can do our knuckle cover. Be able to do the hub from there. Our bearing. There it is. On it goes. Do our brake discs. I went for the ventilated carbon ceramic. Because we're going to want to stop this thing. <laughs> brake pads. Do our wheel hub. There we go. And our caliper, which I painted red because why not? I was in the paint booth anyways. And let's go ahead and put on our tires here. Yep, actually, I actually picked the right one. How about that? And there we go. That's that side built out. That looks good. On to the other side. On to the rear end. We've got our axle housing in here. So let's go from there. Let's do our knuckle there. Actually, let's build from the inside out. Get our shock absorber. Leaf spring. We can do our leaf spring plate. Then our U-bolts. There's one. And two. And we probably want to get our bushings in here before we forget. Small rubber bushing. There's one. And then one on the other side. If I can get to it. There it is. On it goes. Then we can go for the wheel hub here. Axle. Brake disc. And I even painted these calipers back here too. They would match. There we go. There's the caliper. And I believe, yeah, we are ready for our wheel and tire here. Get our slicks on. See how big these things look from behind. That is awesome. It fills the space so well. Okay, that side's built out onto the other side. Time to start hooking up the drive line. We got our performance flywheel here, as well as our clutch. Pressure plate. Be exciting to see how much horsepower this thing's going to make. I believe we will need, I did buy the uh, tunable transmission, which makes sense because yeah, it's going to be, I think it's going to be a little bit crazy. Hopefully we'll see. Get our starter in here. On it goes. And I think from there we can do, yep. Our drive shaft. Curious what uh, your guys' favorite fast and the furious cars are. I'm really partial to the first one because I saw it in theaters and everything. Yeah, I'm that old. Uh, and I was just blown away by it when it came out. I thought it was the coolest thing. I really liked, um, I really liked the Volkswagen. That was cool. Get our performance mufflers on here. Uh, I, I just like the shape of it. The square, the square, th that era of Volkswagen is really cool to me. Really dig those. And I think that pretty much does the uh, whole exhaust and drive line. We can start putting fluids in this thing. This is getting exciting. Then move on to the body. Brake fluid, coolant, the ever important windshield washer fluid. Can't forget engine oil. With all that said and done, let's see if she'll fire up. I'm excited to hear what this thing sounds like. Oh, oh, oh. oh, you can hear that. You can hear that supercharger. Oh, that's awesome. I'm excited. I'm excited to get this thing uh, on the dyno, especially, and then uh, on the track. But first things first, we need to start uh, assembling the body. Get the door on there. Need to get this uh, little window here before I forget it. That one, and then left side mirror. We can move on back here to the rear window, the trunk. Got to get our little lights on here. There we go. Perfect. Rear bumper. I need to buy a rear bumper. Now I know. Let's get this on here. Front right door. Let's see how much stuff I forgot. That's always fun. So far, one. Only one. That's not too bad. So considering anything up here obviously we want a hood on it goes 
I love the hood pins, the details there. The front clamshell, I think there was a few pieces up here that I need to. Right headlight. Do the front end there, try to get this left headlight. There it is, I think I need this trim piece right here. I do indeed, because I remember seeing that missing in the junkyard. Yep, that all, I need to get that. Oh, windshield. I think just the two bumpers and we're good. Here is the front bumper, on it goes, and the rear. Probably gonna want tail lights, there's one. And then to get the right side, get our little rear clamshell down here, as well as our exhaust outlets right there. And I think that pretty much does it. Man, that looks so good. Especially with those big slicks back there. All right, we gotta get this thing in the paint booth and looking pretty. There are so many livery options for this car. I'm on 15, 16, 17. This is amazing. There's a lot of options you could do with this one. But you know, I'm gonna go with, I'm already 22. I'm, already, I'm gonna go with the, uh, obviously the movie one. 40, 40 livery sets for this thing. But the one I'm looking for is this one right here, number two. Perfect. Just playing around with it. This looks really good in matte finish. That is slick. It's tempting, but I'm gonna go with the gloss. Let's paint the car. Oh yeah, <laughs> that looks so, so good. Let's get this thing in alignment and head over to the dyno. Final wheel to align and there we go. It's ready to go to the dyno. You know what I just realized and I didn't think about it till now, I never put a belt tensioner on. I was looking at my inventory and I'm like, I'm missing some things. So let's uh, let's finish building this engine, why don't we? Cause yeah, went into my inventory. I'm like, what are those doing there? There's that, there's the belt tensioner. I'm surprised it ran. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't complete, but it ran. I mean, and suppose in, I suppose in real life you could do it. It's just gonna squeal, your belt's gonna squeal like crazy and you're immediately gonna know that you didn't put your tensioner on there. This proves to you how excited I am to drive this car. I'm looking at, I was just finishing that up and I see, yeah, the rubber bushings for the cross member. Didn't do any of those. I'm just that stoked to get this thing on the road. It looks so good sitting on the dyno. Moment of truth. Let's see how much power we make out of this thing. Start the test. Factory power was 762 horsepower, 693 foot pound feet of torque. Let's see what gains we get out of this, shall we? Love the sound of that supercharger. And the verdict is 1,470 horsepower, 1,326 pound-feet of torque. Drag rating, obviously, of A. That's amazing. I'm happy. It just looks so good. Look at that thing. Absolutely beautiful. Pretty sure we're going to need another gear, so let's add one there, and I'm going to start messing with these ratios, get them to where I think it's going to work well. Here we are at the drag strip. We'll go king of the sands, quarter mile, class A except and who are we going up against we are going up against ford f100 monster truck okay let's 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 go there it is <laughs> we'll see how it does i suppose all right here we go moment of truth oh man he definitely got off the line a lot better than we did but we're getting him are we gonna get him in time yes we are Whew. I was a little concerned there for a second. We did a quarter mile of 10 sec, 10.8. Not bad. Not the greatest reaction time, but okay. I'll take it. It's fast. Now we'll be going up against Crown Victoria Drift Car. Let's see how that, how that turns out. Because that uh, F100 almost got us. There it is. Crown Vic. All right, here we go. Oh yeah, I think we got him, hopefully. Maybe, nope, we got him. Maybe we'll get a little better of a quarter mile time out of that. We'll see, 10-7, ah, slightly better, but not by much. He ran an 11-3. Here we are for the final spot. We are going up against a Nissan Skyline GTR. There it is. An interesting looking Skyline, it's like lifted. Let's see how we do. Oh, he's coming. No, I think we got him. We got him. Oh, 
That time a 10-5. So we're, we're improving every single time. And he ran a 10-9. And here we are. Final race. Dominic Toretto, Roadrunner, GTX versus Bone Shaker. Hot Wheels Bone Shaker. There it is over there. All right, this is for everything. Good reaction time. I think we're going to get it. I think we got it. <laughs> that was fun. We actually won the championship with this thing. First try. Ran a 10-5 again. All right, we won. 11,250 credits. I'll take it just for kicks. Let's see what we can do in a mile with this thing. Curious what it tops out at. No opponent, just going for sheer speed here. Good launch. Let's see if we run out of gears. I did add a few more than, than six. <laughs> 150, 160, 170, we're in seventh gear, 190, are we going to get there? 201 miles per hour. That was awesome. One mile, 26 seconds. I don't know if that's good. I don't run one mile very often. Here we are at the speed track. I'm kind of curious what we can... Uh, safely get it up to and then safely stop as far as top speed goes i'm gonna give us a little more room listen to that supercharger that sounds so cool all right here we go it's not shifting too smooth i'm, I'm just letting it do automatic but yeah there we go now it's found a little rhythm 160, 170, 180. Uh, I'm gonna start shutting it down. Oh, our brakes are a lot better than I thought they were. Okay, we're, we're gonna spin around and try this again. 193, we beat it. 202, 205. Oh, oh, can we do it? Oh, not bad at all. 205 miles an hour in a uh, Roadrunner. That's got to be an experience right there. What a car. There it is. The Dom Toretto GTX. Let's see what kind of profit we're going to get out of this thing. Car status. We're 100% on everything. That's nice. Let's see. The buy price was 35,148 profit, 121,982. Let's make it $122,000. Sell value is $157,000. Well, I say we sell the car. We can't keep them all. And uh, we've got we've got some more expensive cars to build. I don't know if you could tell, but I had I really had a lot of fun with this one. Let's do more Fast and the Furious cars. Guys, if you made it this far into this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up. It really helps me out, helps out the videos. If there's uh, any cars you want to see, please feel free to put it down in the comments. I always read your comments. I always, I always love reading your comments. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it, and I'll see you in the next one.